Alright, so I'm going to show you how I re-greased my transmission in my Traxxas Wrestler VXL. Just keep in mind that the Wrestler, Stampede, Bandit and Slashes transmission and transmission case and everything are, are all the uh, exact same. Uh, XL5 and VXL. Actually, some of the older XL5 models have uh, plastic gears instead of the hardened steel metal ones. But uh, that doesn't make much of a difference. And then some of the really old XL5s don't have a slipper clutch, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, so to start off here, I'll just show you the tools you need. They're pretty basic. Uh, you just need some Allen wrenches. I've replaced my, the uh, ones that came with my truck with these EDS ones. They have hollowed out aluminum handles. Uh, they're really nice. And so far they, are, they hold up much better, better than the stock ones and they feel much better and you can work with them much faster. You can twist them just like a screwdriver. Uh, just search, uh, go, on e go on eBay and just search uh, EDS wrench and uh, you'll, it'll come up with a bunch. I got a pack of four of them for $21.99 plus $8 shipping to Canada. In the US it was like $4 shipping so they're pretty cheap for what you get. Apparently they last a while and then when the tips do wear out you can uh, just buy replacement tips. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, you'll just you'll need your wheel nut wrench. Haven't replaced this because this seems to work pretty well. Not sure how I would strip this. Uh, you also need some coffee filters. I'll show you why in a second, or once we take the case apart. Then you'll also need some grease. Uh, now, if you have some silicone grease and some lithium grease, that's great. Uh, try and have both types. If you just have one or the other, uh, I guess if you just have lithium grease, you'll be able to sort of make do. Silicone grease, I'm not sure if you can use just silicone grease. I, it's definitely something I wouldn't recommend. And uh, you'll also need some electrical tape and a knife. So uh, that's it for the tools. Uh, oh, and by the way, you'll also need just a bowl that you can set your gears in when you take them out of the transmission case. I'm just using a magnetic bowl here covered in the coffee filters because coffee filters uh, don't give off like fibers and stuff like if you set down a greasy thing here It's not going to pick up a bunch of stuff when it comes back out In fact, uh, I've used coffee filters to clean processors before like computer processors So uh, anyways, uh, it's time to get started So first we'll just take off our wheel here There we go Then with your two millimeter wrench remove the gear cover Now take your 1.5 millimeter wrench and remove the pinion gear. Then take your wheel nut wrench and remove the nut that holds on the spur gear. You might find this easiest if you put your wheel back on. Then you can remove the spring, your spur gear, and your slipper clutch assembly. Take your 2 millimeter wrench again and remove the two motor screws to release the motor. Use the same wrench to remove the two screws at the back of the shock tower. Next, flip your truck upside down and use your 2 and 2.5mm Allen wrenches to unscrew the screws on the bottom of your chassis. Then using your 2.5mm wrench again, unscrew the screws that hold your A-arms on. You'll have to use something to push them out from the back. Before we continue, remove your other rear wheel. If your truck has a motor guard, now's the time to take it off. Then unscrew the other two screws that hold on the shock tower. Lastly, pop your A-arms off, then you should be able to remove your transmission.
All right, so now that we have our transmission out of our car, we can uh, start disassembling it and re-greasing it. Now you can hear mine sounds pretty good. It's pretty smooth. So I might actually not need to re-grease it, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it anyways. And there's no harm in doing it either. And actually in my diff, I have lithium grease, which you're actually supposed to have silicone grease in there. So uh, yeah, I'll do that anyways. So. Uh, yeah, to start off here, just remove the tape on the bottom of your transmission case, and that's what the electrical tape is for, because later we'll put some more on. And, uh, yeah, if any parts are dirty, you can just use one of your coffee filters or a rag. Uh, coffee filters are good because they don't leave anything behind. Like, if there's, uh, if you use some shirts or whatever, I'll have little fuzzy things on them that will get caught in your grease. Coffee filters won't do that, so they're great to use for this kind of stuff. So just wipe your case down so that you're not dealing with too big of chunks, too uh, too much dirt here. Okay, there we go. Now to remove these little axles here, just take your 1.5 millimeter wrench and remove the slug nuts. I think that's what they're called. Just like that. And then you'll only actually be able to remove them about two or three millimeters out there. You'll need to flip it around and use, let's see, will this work? There we go, and just poke, push them out like that. So I do that for both of them. There we go, that one came out just like that. And there we go. So uh, now you can just work on unscrewing this screw, this screw, basically all the screws on the back here. And so I'll uh, just speed things up here so you don't have to watch me do this for five minutes. Alright, so after you're done unscrewing all those screws, your transmission case should practically fall apart on you. So here you can see our three main gears, our top drive gear, our idler, uh, idler gear, and then our diff. Which, uh, that's kind of cool. We're going to open this up and replace it with silicone, uh, silicone grease. So, uh, you can just start removing these and putting them in your pan. Like so. And then you'll have to get out all these uh, bearings and stuff. I'll just work on that. You can use one of your wrenches. Alright, so now that we've taken everything apart, uh, I actually couldn't get this little gear out. It shouldn't be that big of a deal though. Uh, anyways, now that we have everything apart, it's time to clean everything off and re-grease it. Uh, I feel like an idiot not for doing this, but forgot to mention the other things that are useful are uh, Q-tips and toothpicks. And uh, so what we'll basically do here is take a Q-tip. Now uh, there's fuzzy stuff in the end of the Q-tip which might rub off in the grease and leave little things behind. It's not a very big deal, but you can just cover it up with a coffee filter and use it like that. So we'll just take this and you can just, whoops, sorry, huh, just Try and get as much of the grease off here as you can. Now, I wouldn't recommend using any kind of solvents to get the uh, grease off because you might risk kind of eating away. Or yeah, I don't know. Uh, nobody seems to really do it. So just try and get as much of it off here as you can. Alright, so now that you can see, this area in here and this area in here are nice and clean. This area here doesn't matter because that's where your mo motor itself sits, so it doesn't matter if that has a little bit of dirt in it here and there, but uh, these two areas are the two areas you want to be 
we want to get nice and clean. So now that that's done, it's onto the gears. Now I'll just demonstrate here on our differential, or actually let's just do it to the idler gear. We'll just, uh, you can just take a toothpick and a coffee filter. Just drop the coffee filter on the toothpick, making sure not to puncture it, and then just go in between each tooth and just wipe out the grease. Now this takes a while, but it's worth it. So do this with all of your gears, and I'll be back when that's done. All right, so now as you can see, these are nice and clean. Uh, the next thing we'll do here, take your diff, and take your two millimeter Allen wrench and just unscrew these four screws at the back and pop your diff apart. And then clean it basically the same way we cleaned everything else. It's sort of like a mini transmission case. Okay, there we go. So that's what it looks like inside. So clean that out just like we cleaned everything else out and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so now that I've cleaned up my diff, it's time for me to put some grease in it. Now this is just the silicone grease. You don't want to use lithium grease. That's what I used to have in it, but yeah, silicone or yeah, silicone grease will work a lot better. So just take it, uh, fill it anywhere from like a third to two thirds full or so. I'm just going to fill this one up about halfway. Just like that kind of thing. And then you can just take the other side of it here and just push that down in there like that. Take the plastic top part. Actually, you know what, I'm going to squirt a little bit more in there because it's going to spread out to the edges a little bit. There we go. And then take your the top plastic part and just put it back on like so and screw that on and you're good to go with that uh, and then uh, I'm just going to screw this on and I'll be back when I'm done alright so my differential is all back together here now I'm going to show you how to put the transmission itself back together now what happens to some people is they put it back together and they have like leftover parts which is never good so I'm going to show you how to put it back together t the uh, correct way or the way they show in the exploded views and uh, yeah, so if you put it together like this, you should have no trouble whatsoever. So just to do a uh, count and make sure you have all the parts, you should have six bearings all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should have four of these little uh, spacers. One, two, three, four, or I guess, yeah. Four little space metal spacer things. Uh, not, they're not really even like spacers, they're just more little washers. And you should have one of these hollow, little hollow tubes. It's about three quarters of an inch long. You should have your top drive gear, your idler gear, and your differential assembly. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll put our differential in here. So to do that, it doesn't have any of these little uh, metal washers anywhere on it. So we'll just insert a bearing into our transmission case right there and rest the diff in and it doesn't really I don't think it really matters which way it goes whether, whether it goes like the, oh oh sorry huh. yeah you want it to go like that because if you put it in like this that won't work because this gear won't really fully connect with it and it rubs so put it in like this so that the uh, kind of ring of gears is on top like that and it should spin really good like that like so and then take another gear, set it on top, and we'll just leave that for now. Uh, actually, we better just put this gear on the other side, the other side of the case. Now take your idler gear. Now this gear here goes on this rod. Insert the rod right there. Take one of these little metal washers, slide it down the rod. Take your gear, just set it on there. This should spin smoothly. It might be a little bit kind of gritty feeling just because this gear will wobble back and forth and mesh up differently. Uh, but once your case is back together, it'll spin nicely. 
then put another one of these little washers on top there and just leave that for now. Uh, yeah, so then what we can do, put a uh, bearing in there, the last hole there, mine's already in there as you can see, and then take one of these metal washers and pop it on your top drive gear here and just insert it in there like so. And then uh, take another one of these washers, slide it over the top there, and take your bearing. Actually, I'll just pop the bearing in the other side of the uh, transmission case like so. And that's basically it. Now, before we put it back together here, I'm going to apply some grease. You don't want to apply too much of this grease, uh, just enough to make the gears spin kind of really smoothly. Uh, some people pack it full, just like the diff. Do not do that. Absolutely don't do that. You might have heat issues. Uh, it'll be pretty hard on the case. So we're just going to make make a little uh, strip right there of it, like so. Spin it around like three quarters of a turn. Another little strip. And make sure you kind of make the strip go all the way up and down because it doesn't spread out the same way you might think it would. So just put that on like that. And as you can see, that's a pretty good amount. I'm going to use a little bit more here, a couple more little areas, because it'll spread from gear to gear, but yeah. So that's a pretty good amount. Basically put enough on so that you can just see, you can see right there, if you spin it you'll be able to see it kind of come out there. So that's a good amount there, we'll just pop our transmission case back on, like this put all the screws in, put everything back together, and you're good to go. Oh, and cut a little piece of electrical tape to go over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll put it all, put it all back together and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. It won't look any different than what it looked like when we started off. And by the way, it should spin nice, nice and smoothly here. And when you, when you hold this, spin one of these. The other one on the other side should spin too. So when you're putting the screws back in your transmission case, you'll notice you'll have five that are the same size and then one that's a little bit shorter than the rest. The short one goes up here, and the other five go here, 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 and here.